Deception, deception, deception. That is what the last days are all about. But that's what it's always really been about. Since the garden, right? Eve was beguiled. So you guys got to remember a few things for what I'm about to say. You have to understand some large truths that I've been yelling from the rooftops for years now. And first of all, you have to understand uh, who has power ultimately, yes, is the God of the Bible. But under that is Satan and his spirit and people. It doesn't take, I don't need to convince very many people out there that the governments of the world, um, the education of the world, all of these things are pretty much influenced by the devil and devilish people, right? Whether they are knowingly serving the devil or unknowingly serving the devil, regardless, they are serving the devil. And I don't have to speak very much on how they've hidden so many things to try to hide the truth. They've hidden the, so many thousands of bones of the giants, um, even if you look into the structures where it, we think they're mountains, but they're petrified giants. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen that online, but it's true. Um, and all of these things, Noah's Ark, how it has been found in Turkey, in the mountains of Ararat. There's even a gift shop up there. A man named Ron Wyatt found this, but we don't hear about it. Rarely. You know, you have to be online to hear about these things. And so they've hidden all these things. They've lied about cosmology. They, they've told us the exact opposite of the truth, which is they have told us that we're on this spinning ball with water sticking to it, flying through space at half a million miles an hour, which is completely unscientific, unbiblical, and doesn't make any sense. So knowing these things, what they are capable of doing and have done, you have to understand that they have control over information to a large extent and therefore having control over people's minds. What people believe and based on what you believe and what you do, that's where you're going to go when you die or this flesh, sinful flesh dies. So they know this and behind it is the devil naturally. And so it's really... Um, some things that you need to understand as to about what I'm going to say. So getting past all that, we know that even the Bible says that Satan is the God of this world. That's the small g God. That should sum it up right there, right? So there is no conspiracy too large uh, for us to understand because we know that the Bible is true, and we know that it says that Satan is the small g god of this world. Okay? And again, even if you look into the religious system, definitely one of the most corrupt systems that we have. You know, some people think it's the government that's the most corrupt. Maybe they're right, but I would venture into saying it's probably the religious system that is corrupt. Because government, the structure of government comes from the religious ideal mentality, right? The Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And, well, I'm not sure. Some, you know, it's all entangled in there. We have religion entangled in secular things. There's really no separation. But regardless, everything is ran by the devil and his people to an extent. Right, So we all get that. So I wanted to prime you for what I'm about to say next. What I think is going to happen this year and next year. Now, the first thing that I've gone over before is that the people who are white, known as Caucasian, who are in the land that we call Israel, but Israel is actually a people. That's one thing that people understand. It's not a land. Israel is a people. That is a name of a people. Okay. But regardless, 
the people that have claimed to be the descendants of the original Hebrews. I have gone over time and time again how that is impossible. How can they all be white when in Revelation 4.3 it says that Jesus is the color of jasper and sardine stone? But in the ESV it says carnelian stone. So all three of these stones are deep, dark red. The color of colored people, okay, and Native Americans, right? We know that even Jesus is the second Adam. And Adam, back in the day, even the name Adam, the first Adam, means earthy or ruddy, red. Well, if you look at a carnelian stone or a jasper stone, red jasper, it's even called red jasper. The, the, he's, he's a colored person, okay? We can get into the details as to how colored and all this stuff. I don't really care about that. All I know is that he is a deeply colored person. So how can a group of pure white people in which the word Caucasian comes from the word Caucasus, which is the Caucasus Mountains, that is where they are from. How can they be the descendants of the Hebrews? Just based off that. Just based off that, the color. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. And none of them believe in Jesus. Okay, When God talks about a regathering of Israel, he's talking about believers. These people are going to believe in Jesus Christ or Yeshua, however you want to pronounce his name. He knows your heart. Okay, So that the regathering that has happened in 1948 has been done by the Satanic United Nations under the oversight of the devil. That's all a delusion and a deception. This is one of the big ones, guys. This is what I want you guys to understand for what I'm about to say next that I believe is going to happen very soon. So we know in Scripture and Biblical prophecy that the world basically is up against Israel, right? And people see what's unfolding today, and people think that that is actually natural, true Israel, the descendants of the Hebrews. And they say, well, see, prophecy is taking place. When all of this is being orchestrated by the United Nations, even the people over there, okay? So in biblical prophecy, when this happens and everybody goes against Israel, God steps in with his supernatural abilities, and protects and defends Israel, right? Well, I believe this is going to happen very soon. Is that this all is going to transpire in a deceptive way. We all know about the UFOs and the alien idea, deception, right? But we all know about all the technology that the government has. They have technology like movies, that they don't show us, that we know that they have. They have the powers of the angels. Okay, this is exactly how the Book of Enoch describes it. Book of Enoch it tells you exactly that the, the angels, or the, the bad angels, the fallen angels as we call them, taught men all their powers. So these men that are orchestrating these things with demonic knowledge, right, high amounts of knowledge, high amounts of technology, they have godlike technology, power. So keeping that in mind, keeping that the idea that all of this is being orchestrated by the satanic United Nations and the governments of the world, the powers that be, even fake Israel, <clears throat> that it's going to be a setup. That when Israel is under attack or whatever, however you want to put it, <clears throat> these aliens, intruders, will step in and save Israel. Fake Israel, so-called Israel, and so-called God, or gods, right? You see, it's all a delusion. So they're all acting as the true. These aliens, or whatever you want to call them, 
they're going to step in, act as God, right? As they're going to fulfill prophecy as a strong delusion, though. You see, this is part of the strong delusion. So what they are going to do, you see, you have to understand that the man of sin, the word antichrist, also means counterfeit Christ. And remember, in the Bible, Lucifer says, I will be like the Most High. So it's all going to look like the real thing to those with the untrained eye. If, if your eye is not disciplined in, in knowing the truth about these things, you're going to easily be deceived. It even says, if it were possible, the elect would be deceived. It's not possible. For the elect to be deceived but if it were that's how strong this delusion would be that's why it is important to know the truth and to keep up with the truth and what's going on as god reveals things to you so keeping in mind that the antichrist is not the only counterfeit thing that is going on everything is counterfeited everything every truth so we have the great setup. You have the so-called Israel, okay, over there already, set, set up, ready to also bring in the second part of this, which is the so-called counterfeit godlike powers that will be used to protect or defend the counterfeit Israel. So they're both counterfeits, you see? So they're putting on a big show for you. That's what they're really doing. See, because the devil and his people, they know prophecy. They know it probably better than we do. And so them knowing this, they say, well, let's counterfeit it. Let's put our own people there. Let's put our own godlike issue there. And people will believe the lie. Again, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11 for God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. It says a lie. So that's a single lie. But this delusion has many, many tentacles, I believe. And I believe that what I'm telling you right now has a lot to do with that verse. Yeah, it's all counterfeits. And again, look at what they've done already right now. They have America sending boatloads and boatloads of money to so-called Israel, counterfeit Israel, that was put there and created by the Satanic United Nations in 1948. Which, do you know what really happened in 1948 that everybody overlooks that it's hardly ever talked about? Something called apartheid. What is apartheid? It's racial segregation, legal racial segregation. They kicked all of the colored people out of that area. <laughs> all of the colored people that probably most of them which were the actual descendants of the Hebrews. So prophecy is being mimicked and counterfeited so that people will believe a lie. Just go read Revelation chapter 2 verse 9 and chapter 3 verse 9. I mean, it specifically talks about people who are saying that they are Jews but are not but are the synagogue of Satan. The Bible can't be more clear than this. And the Bible talks about strong delusion and deception all in the last days, over and over and over.